Okay, what's going on? I have not posted a video in a while, and I'm sorry about that. It's been like a week, but just got done with the Bassmaster Open on Chickamauga, and this video right here is part two of my first real day of practice on Table Rock. We caught so many fish on Table Rock, it was so much fun. I have been not posting videos for a while because I've been super busy, but, and I'm a fi tournament fisherman first that makes videos. So I've got a ton of content saved up. I'm about to just start posting them every single day. We're going to you know knock this stuff out get it all out there for everybody to see it if they want to watch so appreciate you guys watching you want to hit the subscribe button because i got videos coming out all the time well don't turn around that way got videos coming out all the time now we're going to do it daily until i get caught completely up appreciate you guys watching hit that sub button you don't want to miss anything all right so i've just been getting so many bites today um i just drove down to a different part of the lake i always do that <clears throat> anybody paying attention can tell i done switched to like six different baits caught them on all six and I fished a lot of different, you know, back in pockets on the main lake, main lake cuts, main lake points. I fished it all with the right kind of components on it. Caught them off pretty much everything. So we drove down probably five miles real quick and just got into a different section of the lake. Like I said earlier, we're on that pivot point of where it gets from, goes from clear to stain. And now we're in the straight clear water. So fish around here for a while, not getting any big bites. I'll be able to ride it off instantly. And it probably won't get very many bites at all. But if I do, I would imagine they'll be smaller than average. And then I'll be able to write that off just instantly and I'll know which section to focus on. And then the tournament, you know, if you just don't waste any time. Go straight to that good productive section. Fish there. That chunk, stay in productive water. And that's how you do well. So I'm going to write this off real quick. We ain't shaking them off here because I want to see how big they are. So that was a two and a half or so and i just lost another two and a half right on the other side so you can see i'm back in a cut like where i caught that big one earlier like how i've been how i said i would just run these cuts when i was out there on that straight stuff i didn't catch any big ones and i said that's the big ones are in here so that just shows it over there i lost one about the same size and right there i just put that one in the boat that was two and a half um looks like this is what we're gonna be doing probably gonna the last few hours of Wednesday I'm probably gonna try to find some bed fish I'm gonna decide which area I'm gonna fish here the other arm or one of the other two arms and then I'm gonna try to find some bed fish in clear water south of there just some two just some guaranteed two pounders that might have a female pull up on it just in case it's I struggle I'll hit them on the way back and you know try to get me one or two so that's pretty much how I wanted to fish on the way up here so this is exactly what I wanted it's going good Every time Hunter calls, she get bring me some luck. That's a good one. That's better than ones on the main river. Dude, just got me some new pliers. Let's try them out. That old flathead, I guess it is. Pretty cool looking. Thing. Thump that thing. When I set the hook, I thought I had like a five pound smallie. There's a 
good one. Oh gosh, he got him. That's a thick one. He was on there super shallow. He was on a point. Kind of like what I said that we uh, hadn't been catching any good ones doing. I'm going to weigh him just to see. I think he's about a 2.5. 2 six. Not bad, but still we, we need all three pounders and then a couple big ones every day. I wish I could feel the way these fish are biting. Goodness gracious, it's so much fun. They're just not big enough. We gotta find a better area. That's, I'm glad I'm, if I would've shook all these fish off, I'd be like, oh my God, there's no way I can catch all these and not have 20 pounds. So it's a good thing I didn't shake them off instantly. But we are burning a couple good ones that we might need, like some two and a quarters, two and a halves. But I mean, we probably won't even come to this area if we don't find some three pound pluses today at some point. So. We gotta catch them or else we eliminate this, this whole arm. I deserve to lose that one. Do you see how long it took me to swing him? When you got him right there, swing them. Unless there's like six pounders. Swing them. First bite in the clear water was not a keeper. That was probably like a 13 and a half, 14 incher. Yeah. I don't either. That's what I always thought the power knob two was called. The two was always called that, I thought. But I, I don't know. Hold on just a second. It got me one off bed that might actually be a keeper. Yep, 15 and a half. I'm gonna mark him as a pound three quarters. Again, I don't know how big spots have to be. I think they gotta be 15 as well. I'm gonna measure and see how big he is. It's a 15 and a half. That spot is not a keeper.
look at how wide that freaking spot is. Holy crap. That is a fat sucker. Guarantee you spawn in that bush. Bad joke. keeper all right so we back up here closer to where we put in at back up in the stained water again and we're going to put on something black and blue and see if there's a sweet spot so I went to the clear water and I didn't flip it as much as I should have I kind of got sucked into bed fishing so I wasted some time bed fishing I did mark a few on bed which could help did have one real have like a four pounder that I could have caught but I didn't want to obviously don't want to catch a four pounder in practice but um, I still should have flipped more because the bed fish, the four pounder is going to be gone. Um, the male will probably still be there, which is a keeper. And then I found some more keepers that, uh, that I marked, but we're up here in the stain. We're trying to see if they want heavy stain. I know they like the light stain. I've caught a lot of fish over two pounds in the light stain. In the clear water, I didn't catch very many at all over two pounds. And then we're going to see in the stain, which is where I caught the three and a half, if you know the quality is a little bit better or at least just as good here so I know how far I can run in the tournament. So let's try to catch us one big one. Another spot up here. Daggum it. He threw one of my tails off. Both my tails off. I snatched him from that side of the boat to that side of the boat, then he fought some more. Oh, that freaking dude right there, holy crap. I wasn't expecting that. Hands over five probably. Dang. Biggin' in that freaking bush on a swim jig. All right, so we're back in the hotel room now. Staying at the Welk Resort. Pretty nice place actually, not, not bad. One of the nicer hotels I've stayed in this year. <laughs> and not super expensive either. I think it's $69 a night with our FOW discount. <clears throat> so, had a good day today. Caught a bunch of fish, caught like 30 fish. Um, caught a five pounder there at the end. That was, uh, gave us actually a really good bag for the day, but that was in 13 hours. So it's not like we actually caught them that good. As far as quality goes, we caught a bunch of two to two and a quarter pounders, a few two and a halves, had the one three six and then a five um and i had a four pounder on bed y'all didn't really see it but i had a four pounder on bed that i could have caught for sure but i obviously didn't want to catch it today so if you had all that up we would have had like 17 and a half pounds today if we wanted to in 13 hours though so you know that's 
a good bag here for sure, but that was a long time. We got to get precise, find those perfect good areas, figure out how to catch some of these big ones flipping. We're going to figure all that out tomorrow. Stay tuned. See y'all next time. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button. See y'all later.